What's up guys and welcome to Magic the Father and where two fathers in the prime of their life work exceptionally hard to balance work, home life and the unequivocal need to play a pretty bit of cardboard. James, pre-release tomorrow mate, how the devil are you? I'm good Connor, I'm good. Um, I'm, I'm just still settling into my hair, still making sure everything's in the right place and still being a complete nerd and sorting through my books and putting them in order. Your books in order? What do you mean your books? Like, you have to... <laughs> so, everything's where it's meant to be. Like, they're all on the shelf in the bookcase. Right, so actual like, books. Actual books, proper books. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm old. Yeah, I, yeah, I have yeah. actual books. That's a okay. cut. Yeah. But they're in, not in chronological order. So, like... <laughs> so, we're talking saga books, then? We're talking... I think there's, there's graphic novels, there's... Uh, Star Wars Legacy, I think they're called now, okay. and uh, Terry Pratchett is one of my favourite authors. Oh, okay then, all right then. Oh, you like Terry Pratchett? So, what do you think? What do you think of Neil Gaiman then? He's very good. I oh, like yeah? Neil Gaiman. You like Neil Gaiman? Cool. cool. I like Neil Gaiman. See, I've never really watched, uh, read any of uh, Terry Pratchett's, <laughs> but my father-in-law, my father-in-law loves Pratchett. Oh, I've never watched it, but read it. Watched. Sorry, but. I did read uh, Neil Gaiman's Neverwhere. Neverwhere? I think that's what it's called. And I enjoyed that. Yeah. That was a good book. Very yeah. disc worldy. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, okay, so what Terry Pratchett does is he takes stuff that's um, like mythos yeah. and fairy tales and stuff like that and yeah. puts a real world slant on them. Okay, Whereas so Gaiman, does Gaiman that, took he... a real world and yeah, <laughs> all right then. Okay, it's, 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 yeah, that's why Good Omens is so good. It's of a Pratchett. Right oh man, that Good Omens. Right, I watched that series of play and it was not good. I watched the first couple of episodes. Oh, no. Mate, we are well off the track here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll link to that book. The book's much better. Yeah. Anyway, it really uh, is. Guys, we are jumping in for an early show. We're actually recording this on Wednesday. I'm going to be uploading it probably by tomorrow which means when I said pre-release tomorrow it would make total sense because today will be Thursday for you but we're in Wednesday time travellers it's it's the way that this this sort of recording pre-recorded stuff goes <laughs> the, the trouble is we'd normally do our Thursday show or we said we might look at doing a Saturday show instead so we've got a bit more time to edit and whatnot. but the trouble is tomorrow I am taking a group of 60 crazy children all the way down to the Harry Potter studios uh, for a big <coughs> school trip <laughs> so uh, what are you coughing about? no <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. My son's coughing in the background. Like, oh. <laughs> he's also calling you a nerd. <laughs> no, he's going to grow up to be a nerd. So we're going down there for a big old school trip, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's the furthest I've gone on a school trip, so uh, I'm hoping I'm not going to lose any children. <laughs> <laughs> You're just hoping, and maybe, um, <laughs> uh, maybe one or two will get lost along the way, but the majority will come back with me. I've just got to keep head counting. That's the rule. <laughs> it so, didn't work for Kevin McAllister's mum. It's not going to work for you. <laughs> so, James, there isn't a huge amount for us to talk about. We are no. going well off of our old, um, our old routine of how we were doing things. Mm -hmm. There is something very big that happened in the uh, <laughs> in the world of magic this week and mm -hmm. it's crushed my soul oh <laughs> yeah modern had a big big shake up which it probably and a needed hammer like that it was Thor's Mjolnir it, it probably needed there was a couple of decks there was so there's a few things that were happening in modern you can play one of three strategies you can either play an Oko deck and you can either okay play a micro and lattice deck, yeah. or you can play an Urza deck. Yeah. Now, Urza didn't get the ban because no. it's not the offending card. Well, no, Urza doesn't need the ban. No, it's it's fine-ish. It's it's not the worst no. offender in that deck. It's the Mox Opal, that's what wins. Yeah. So, Oko wins, Mox Opal wins, and micro and lattice wins. Yeah, thank goodness. I'm so glad that lattice went. I genuinely don't know why they didn't get rid of it 
sooner because you always argued that the the uh, the Khan lattice lock. You are like, well, it, it's fine. You can interact with Khan. You can attack him or whatever. But actually, you can't. Like, if they drop that Khan, they can get up their lattice. And then, I mean, I'm thinking probably more with Tron, more than anything. The fact that they just lattice lock you out and you can't do a thing about it. Well, as long as you've not got, as long as you've got a, a permanent on the battlefield or a, a creature on the battlefield to attack, you're not locked out. Yeah. But it depends on the deck. If it's something that's just going to smash you like Tron, mm. like traditional mono green Tron would, yeah, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun to just go, oh, well, that's my game then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm still I'm still very salty about losing to the lattice lock at the uh, the Magic Fest in Birmingham. Now, see what had happened was this guy uh, lattice locked me turn one uh, game one. I was like, right, I'm getting you here. Second turn, I brought in. Um, I beat I beat him the second game. I bought in re uh, rest in peace. Not rest in peace. No, uh, stony silence. Stony silence. That's right. Um, to turn all of his. Uh, things into artifacts as well and then uh, game three we went for it again and he put me on the draw no yes on the, on the draw no he put me on the draw so I was like right okay then fine so we, we've gone along and he managed to get his lattice lock and I already had stony silence out and I thought well here we go then mate we just sit here and talk to each other until we deck ourselves and he said uh, I'm going to have to get a judge over I was like why is that he says I need to ask if I'm allowed to ask you a question. <laughs> Where are you going with this? Judge comes over. He says, "Judge, am I allowed to ask my opponent how much, uh, how many cards they got in their deck?" And she was like, "Well, yeah, of course you can." Yeah. And I went, "Well, what's Public the point?" Information. And he said, "You drew one more card than me." He says, "I'm going to deck you before you deck me," and that was it. I was screwing at that point <laughs> I was like not only are you a degenerate to play the lattice lock you've gone and like <laughs> run the mat oh it was unfortunate yeah. yeah I mean yeah it's no one likes losing that way where it's not a game right mm. that's probably why it's gone more than anything it's like so those, those moments when you just you have to do something you're not affecting the board you put something in they've got to happen to have 10 mana and you just locked out the book like, yeah. locked out the game yeah um yeah Moscow Paul like but yeah that, I can see that one why that one went um yeah Moscow Paul should have gone a long time ago long ago long I mean ago. I'm surprised they haven't donated to stirrings as well as we've mentioned before yeah but so, that's another card that's probably yeah. looking to get just as a general then mate for you know our viewers that don't or four viewers uh, the, yeah, the, four of them. <laughs> we thought, we thought, was it red red blooded mage or something down in the comments thank you so much for commenting man I really appreciate it I think yeah. I think it's Andy at the shop but I don't know so you yeah, know yeah. if you uh, drop your name down there for us and then we'll be able we'll just tell us the F and M we'll be able yeah. to know who you are and say thank you um, but uh, where was I going with that the four viewers, right? For those of us that don't play modern, can you explain why Mox Opal is so horrific in that deck? Well, it's it's horrific in a couple of decks. It's not just that deck. It's the fact that it's a free mana source. So instead of being on turn one having one mana, on turn one you have two mana. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the draw, you're automatically back on the play. Yeah, yeah. If you draw it and play it. Now that's more offensive when it's something like Affinity, yeah. where they can where they can activate Metalcraft on the first turn. Yeah. In the Urza deck, it's just the repetition of being able to cast it from your graveyard uh, for with um, Emery. Emery. So you go up a mana, and it's just automatically tapped on. You don't you don't even have to have Metal Metalcraft if you got Urza out. It's just a one blue. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty horrific then. Pretty yeah, horrific. I so I think Urza is starting to be Urza now is more fair. It's still a good deck. Mm -hmm. No one in our shop plays fair. Urza, so I suppose I've never played against the uh, the Urza deck. I've played against a uh, EDH version, 
Verza. <laughs> that's just really not fun. No, that's not. <laughs> that's really not fun. Um, and then the third band Did was... you just admit to playing EDH? Yeah, I did. Whoa. I did. I played EDH for someone Friday just gone. And um, who won that game? He, he's a guy that looks. Who won two games? He's a guy that looks a little bit like the cue ball character from Pokemon. If you've been with us from the start, you would have seen it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, James and I played some EDH because we got through our games really quickly. And he said, "Do you fancy Pioneer?" I was like, "No, I'm sick of getting beaten in Pioneer." Do you fancy Modern? I'm sick of getting beaten in Modern. We play EDH. Yeah, cool. I got beaten in EDH. So <laughs> I didn't even come by you off of EDH either. Just, no, just you got honest lucky. To good, honest to God, good old beats. Yeah, yeah. I was a bit slow that game. I think. <laughs> yeah, like normal. Maybe. <laughs> and then the final one's obviously Oko, which yeah. it's just I think someone put a stat on uh, Twitter. I think it was of the decks in the top 64 of one of the I think it was either Austin or the Knoxville the Star City Games in Knoxville mm-hmm. open there was only two decks that weren't didn't have an Oko <laughs> everything was whatever the deck was splash Oko wasn't it it's like pretty much when Jump starts splashing blue for Oko you thought ooh yeah, it was like, it's someone not right there <laughs> the, literally the deck was Jundoko. It was just. It was a Joko. Oh. <laughs> I considered. I considered splashing Simic colours in eight rack. <laughs> <laughs> so not, not just only, a green or a blue splash. It's a full Simic. two colour splash. Not only are you taking damage off the rack, but then I can attack you with the rack. Pretty <laughs> good. Pretty good. Um, but yeah. they put a stop to that, sadly. So I am now the proud owner of four Okos, which will go down in history as one of the most broken cards ever created um, to get a ban across the board. I mean, shy of um, vintage. It's, st- it's still it's still playable. In Legacy, Legacy, Commander. <laughs> uh, I, think you can, I think you can't have it as your Commander in Legacy. In- you can't in Brawl. I think can't it's in EDH brawl. as well, though. Well, you can't have Planeswalkers as uh, yeah, yeah, commanders anyway. No, but but it's it's going to be, you're going to see, like, in another 20 years' time, people are going to look back and be like, Power 9 featuring Oko. <laughs> <laughs> Power 9 Co. <laughs> so, do you, you think... You started that. Do you think, mate... Do you think Oko is now going to just plummet and stay plummeted? Or do you think it's going to be one of those cards that I'm, people are going to get so salty and angry with that they're going to post public burnings of the Oko card online, which is then going to dry up all of the supply. So in 20 years' time, I'm going to crack my four Okos out and they're going to be worth a £1,000 each. No. No. <laughs> uh, I don't, no. I don't think they're going to plummet. But... Who knows? Like it depends if the if any decking legacy uses them. The decking legacy uses them. The won't the won't move much. No, I think they're already down to twenty twenty yeah, quid. About that. Probably they'll probably get down to about fifteen. They'll probably stick about there. Nah, fifteen, yeah, maybe yeah. even ten. No, it won't go ten. They'll go up again. I don't think I don't think it can go ten. There's a lot. You've got to think, there's a lot of kitchen table players. And yeah. Oko still legal in Commander, just not as your Commander. Yeah, I got that. Well, it's obviously kind of yeah. so you can you can tutor him up and stuff. So yeah. you know, but, uh, so, yeah. So that was a harsh. That was a harsh bout. and surprising. Um, so just just on my uh, two penny on that one, um, I think going forward, I think we're going to see a lot of Titan decks. Yeah. A lot more Tron decks and yeah. a lot of Death Shadow decks. Hundred percent. I think that's, that's, that's the general that's where people it goes. Said. That's what Reddit seems to be saying. All the Facebook groups. It seems to be, you know, Titan. Um, dude, like Titan. When I, you know, back in the day when I first encountered Titan, it was like a fringe deck. What happened? When did it get so good? I mean, it's always been there. I mean, modern modern such a big format. That pretty much anything you play that that's that's half decent competitive, mm. you can still 
win and still do well win as long as you know what you're mm. doing. That's what modern. That's what modern rewards. Modern rewards. How well you know your deck and the matchups. Mm. I just thought right. like I just I was always I always thought the Titan was just a bit like a, a bit like a rogue deck. So you know like you got pet you got pet decks like Merfolk people play yeah. because they like they like the tribes or whatever. Then you got the rogue decks which are what I thought was like Titan um, like Cheerios that sort of stuff. And then you've got like you yeah. know your meta. No, Titan's always been tier, at least tier two. Uh, okay. It's just it's just being able to bring two lands in. To trigger Valica at the very least. Yeah, they're gonna start. They're gonna start playing Valica, and that's that's no, that, 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 that's traditionally where where Titan was placed. Right, was in Valica in a scape shift deck. Sometimes from the sideboard, sometimes in the main. Mm-hmm. But now that's turning. So you've still got the scape shift builds, but now it's turning to a blue green Titan deck. Yeah, the field of the dead. Yeah. Well, speak of that blue green, then. Do you think that? Um, do you think Uro, the uh, the new mythic titan? Do you think that's going to see some playing titan? Yeah, I think that'll just replace Oko's in that day. The space oh, is right. there for us, I suppose, really, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, again, another land being that that one step closer to trigger fields mm. or Valakut if yeah. you want to play the red version. Yeah. It's. Probably won't fit in Valakut too well, but I think it'll just replace the Okos in the in the Simic version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and three life early sustain plus another six six that's free to cast, mm-hmm. also tutorable. Yeah, with um, uh, the pact summoner's pact. Summoner's pact, yeah. Is they? I've actually I've actually looked at it myself. I'm only missing the summoner's summoner's pact from that day. <laughs> I've got everything else. Does it play Ewit? Titan, no. no. Not traditionally. Um, it's more um, just pulling up. Yeah, it's more um, just more ramp. Mm-hmm. Like you're just ramping and hoping to hit one of the eight cards that matter. Yeah, this will give you twelve cards that matter because. You play that, and then you play it again, and that's a six-six, and you've brought your yeah. two lands. So it's basically a titan, yeah. Titan, for, titan for seven rather than titan for six. With upside, I suppose. I mean, it gains you six life as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I think that's going to be the somewhere. boogeyman of the uh, the modern format, at least for a little while, until they've till we found a uh, a way out from under that. I mean, I, I still think Murfolk's got a good matchup against Titan. Um, I think the cards have to drop right, but you know you can keep them off of their game all the time. Um, I've seen a few people in the Merfolk uh, community say that they're not too sure they don't like the uh, the matchup, but I despise the Titan matchup with eight rack. So right. I'd rather I'd rather much play it against Merfolk, and Burn I think is a little bit of a rough one because of all the life gain. Well, what's he hey. doing? He's trying to share his screen. I am. There you go. So this is from Star City Games, still tie. Mm-hmm. It's got black in it. So the Okos are three Okos. Do you know what the what's the black for? Uh, it's not even uh, Assassin's Trophy in the sideboard. That's it. Mm-hmm. But runs thirty lands. Once upon a time's fine. Explores there. Summoners back. I thought once upon a time was banned in modern. Why did I think that? No, it's banned in Pioneer. Ah, uh, that might have been what I was thinking of. Got third place. Sweet. Only one Telerio West though. That seems fine. That seems mm. too many too shallow. See, I uh, I pithing needled Telerio West once against a uh, Titan Shift player. He, <laughs> he, he, he proceeded to spend five minutes laughing at my misplay how it was wrong, and then yeah. he realised he was wrong, and then I won, and that made me feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just on the back of this, let's have a look. This is something that's come out this weekend. Oh that man, looks... that's what I was meant to say. Humans. Um with the new uh the human that doesn't let you ca- uh, counter creature spells and enchantment spells. That's gonna go sh- the uncommon. Oh right, okay, yeah. That's yeah, gonna yeah. go straight in there, surely. Maybe. This this impressed me this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the player that, 
the player that won, won with this, they they sort of just took this out of nowhere, didn't they? Yeah, this is the, this is the this is the win. So this is Aaron Barrich. I mean, it's, it's just an invented deck, and it? it's um, it's one of those ones where it's like, no yeah, one was really I'm ready put, for that. <laughs> no, I mean, it just if they've got so if they've got a Yorgmoth and two undying creatures on the battlefield, can't have two Yorgmoths. No, a Yorgmoth, right? And two undying creatures. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a combo. Yeah, and pain no manner. Well, you say that, but you don't do anything with that because Yorgmoth, you have to pay life to sack. Yeah. And then if you... Do, 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 with Blood Artist on the battlefield as yeah, well, yeah. that so saves you the life. So that's but, a little bit like how my EDH deck tries to win, really. Yeah. I suppose we strangle it, guys. So I bet they've got they've got to have the youths in the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Kitchen Finks in the side. Yeah. That's it. It's just a case basically um, kills their board. Mm. I like it. I like it. Certainly, got, I, I, I'd like to play that deck personally, but uh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a little bit little bit out of my price range, that one. <laughs> yeah. I've got, as I say, I've got, I'm only probably missing the Jorgen ones, but... Yeah, I'd need, I'd need three more. <laughs> uh, um, just uh, jump onto the standard uh, deck list for us. No, that's modern, mate. See, it starts with an M. See, a M. M. Standard. <laughs> if you look at <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that's that's what you'd have expected to have seen. I mean, there's nothing that's really changed there. White Weenie's getting some abuse, but I think it's. Uh, I mean, that's all pretty standard. That's all you've seen in standard for a long time. Mm. Will it change this weekend though, or next weekend? Um, I doubt it. I doubt it. Personally, I don't think but... this set's impactful enough. Or well, you know, no. touch wood. Uh, you know, I might be eating my own hat later. I but... think um, Civic Ramp certainly goes up better. this list. Yeah. Then that goes to the top in fact but yeah i think fires is still just as good fires is ridiculous but you got to think is we're getting a we're getting an enchantment based set which means we're going to get a lot of enchantment removal yeah yeah you are but on the on the converse side to that you know it ticks are, are you going to be running main board so the win game no. one the sideboard no. into a different plan game two and you've got all the enchantment removal and no enchantments to kill yeah, yeah, you're it's right there. Just how the meta works, but we'll see. We'll get there. We'll get there. We will see. What um, what sort of deck are you looking at building in the new format, then, mate? Uh, Simi. Yeah. What's boring as that sounds? <laughs> yeah. I've actually already built it. Just waiting for the the parts to come. You're gonna have to wait a while for that, aren't you? No. Uh, only next weekend. Yeah, that's when it's released. You ain't got to get it. Okay, I'll worry about that. I love how all the cards I've pre ordered have gone down. <laughs> and all the cards I've pre ordered have gone up. Yeah, well, it's no surprise when you're paying out and buying the most expensive cards in the set. They always shoot up at first and then they well, go down. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just saying, I'm not our finance guy. <laughs> no, but you're the rich. But guy. I've win. <laughs> You're the guy with expendable cash. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's probably true. So, pre release is coming up then, mate. What are you wanting to pull? Now, this two, two questions here. Two questions. What do you want is your promo? And you can base this on whatever you want. You know, the art, the how good it works, the value. But what do you actually want to open in your seal poop pool for a limited set of games? I mean, I'm looking. So I'm just looking there because I'm looking at the set. I mean, a Helia would be nice, mm. but that's just for more monetary value than anything yeah. in actual. I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. But it's bonkers with other cards that aren't in standard even. Mm -hmm. um, um, like, I think an Euro would just be nuts in sealed. <laughs> yeah. 
I think the um, uh, sneak attack. What's his name? Perfrost. The old, old Perfrost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd just be nuts in that. In 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 any of the planeswalkers, I think. Uh, especially, I think in sealed, especially Calix. I was going to say that's a real build around that one, isn't it? If you get that in seal pot, I'm not sure it would see a lot of constructed play, but I think you know when you're opening six boosters, I think you could really get some grounds there. Oh god, yeah. Like, if you looking at the two most enchantment based colours as well, in green and white. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just go nuts. Cool. I think I'd have to say the card I want to open to my promo is the Dryad. I mean, the Dryad is. <laughs> through the air right mm-hmm. now and if I were to pull one of those uh, it'd be foil first thing I'd be doing with that is sticking it on eBay because I don't want to keep a card that is going to drop plummet in value um, so I think if I were to get one of those I could probably sell that quite quickly and perhaps buy a couple of non-foils because I think there's a card that you're going to want to have but I think they're probably going to rest around about 15 quid I think they're going to be like Questing Beast mm, I think Currently at ten on Mondays. Well, only ten. Only ten. Mm. Which well, is like sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There was seven to start off with on Mondays. Yeah. I've gone up, but yeah, yeah. should have bought some. <laughs> well, the thing is, I didn't buy them. I looked at them, I thought it's a great card, but I didn't buy them because I know I'm not going to use them. I've got no yeah. need to use them. Um, I think the other card I'd like is, uh, of course, I'd like an Ashiok, uh, just because hmm. I love Ashiok. I love I love discard making opponents discard and exile and You certainly are a nightmare. Makes me feel Ooh, good one <laughs> Boom boom Basil Boom <laughs> 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 boom Showing your age there, mate. Half the kids won't know what we what you're doing. <laughs> Oh well, they can look it up on on the Tinter webs. <laughs> right then. So we've spoken about bands. We've spoken about what cards we want to open in our pool. Uh, it's like serious cards where I want to open to actually play with. He's personally, he's Drags the Underworld. The removal, two and two black. It's an uncommon. Right. Destroy, uh, costs X less where devotion is to black. Yeah. Destroy target creature. So it's a two mana kill spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That'll be going to my Pioneer deck, I think. Yeah. Can't get Planeswalkers with that though, can you? Uh, destroy target creature yeah okay yeah that's fine yeah I mean I think there's nothing massive in this set I'm I'm desperate for I've pre-ordered a bunch of cards that I just I might dabble with I'd like to stick with a little bit of control I think maybe try some Esper or maybe just go hard um, like Azorius control um, but I would not feel comfortable not playing black <laughs> you know what they're saying well, that is true. That is true. Black is the best colour in magic. That's what they say. <laughs> Everyone knows green's the best colour in magic. Right now it is, yeah. Right now. Right yeah, now. yeah. Blue's really the best colour. But... No, it's not. No, not in the slightest. <laughs> um, I mean, so, really, mate, what else really is there for us to be looking for other than just saying we wish wishing everyone a really good pre-release. Make sure you go and uh, support your LGS. Yeah, yeah. Show them some love. Give them some money. Keep them going for another cute few months. Yeah, yeah. We all know they need it. Certainly do. Um, yeah, it's just down to you picking our packs then and yeah. giving me <laughs> no. the good one again. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're just picking packs aware, this term. No, he's picking packs. I never pick packs. He's picking packs. And then I'm going to offer to swap again. He's going to give me the pack and I'm going to offer to swap. And do you think he's going to swap this time? I don't think he will. And do you think he'll be disappointed again? Yes. Yes, he will. <laughs> so we will try and film what we can of our uh, of our pre-release. I doubt we'll be able to ma- uh, film any games. But what might be worth doing, James, is bringing along a tripod. Um, and then maybe if we have to face each other, chuck yeah. it up above us and uh, give it a sure. film. I think that'll be quite sure. fun. <laughs> yeah. Only if you're going to upload it this time, I'm going to beat you. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I've beat you about six times on camera, and you've not you've not uploaded one. I've not Think uploaded. Of... I've not uploaded any of the videos that come off my phone because I'm using your laptop, as I said, and I don't want to have to install iTunes on it. Well, you know, it's a get around that. But anyway, <laughs> the only one that the only the only live game that we've played that you, or the only game that we've played that you've uploaded is the one where you won. 
the I didn't Solo upload anything. One. I've yes, not uploaded you did, you a game. You uploaded one from uh, Arena. Ah. Uh, that's, that's the only strange. one you uploaded. It's not strange, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. uh, Wait, this it's my channel. <laughs> Gets beaten, taken for a fall every week, <laughs> and then he only uploads the game he wins. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> right, James, I've got to go get my beauty sleep because I've got to go see Harry Potter, Ron, and Hermione Granger tomorrow. So I'm all tapped Very out, nice. mate. Anything more from you? I'm done. Excellent stuff. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Please make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down there. If you're interested in Instagram and all those fancy photos, please jump over to Instagram and follow me on my underscore teacher underscore the underscore geek. And that, Bell, gives us the end of the day. School's out. Thank you very much. <laughs>